Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yes, so let's get this thing going. We gotta get away from the station and we will be heading to yet another site. Now the one thing I will say is I want to keep these episodes just a little... You know, I want to keep them as brief as possible. I mean, 10-15 minutes. I don't want to keep you guys too long with these because I know that landing on Minmus isn't exactly the most exciting thing ever. And I, I really do want to make sure that you guys know that I understand that it's not the most exciting thing ever. So, I'm really just trying to keep these things all spiced up. Let's see what we can get. And hopefully we will get some good stuff. So, I think we're going to do the Lesser Flats. I believe that's what this is called over here. I don't know. I mean, I basically just call these, uh, you know, lake beds or something. That's pretty much what it is to me. So... Just a big, freaking empty lake bed. That That's pretty much the best way I can describe it. So let's see here. Let's kind of see if we can get like a really cool site. I don't know what, where we will be with the orbital mechanics and everything else once we get closer. But it's probably not going to be in this area. We can pretty much guarantee that, so... Let's see, alright, we're getting, we're pretty far away from the station. I was a little concerned that we might end up hitting the station. But yeah, so I'm going to mention our last episode as well. We did not even use, a, even a lick of fuel. We barely used any fuel at all. That, it was just amazing. Um, I don't even think we are really going to have to add on the tank that I was talking about as far as adding on more fuel to the station. It isn't really going to be needed, at least I don't think. The amount of fuel that we used last time really wasn't that bad, and I know I am a stickler or whatever on fuel. I always talk about it, I'm always like, gotta make sure we got fuel. Too much fuel, not enough fuel, we need more fuel, something about fuel, fuel, fuel stuff. I always talk about fuel, but I try, I really do try to not talk about it on a constant basis, but, um, you know, whatever. It, it it just happens. So, let's see. We need to go out a little bit more, actually. I, I ended up probably burning a lot of fuel than what I needed. There I go again about fuel. Um, You know what? Actually, if we burn a little bit up, then we should be all right. Just going to make sure that we... I don't really want to kill my lander. You know, that's kind of the main thing is, is you know, this lander needs to be basically always operating and if we end up killing it that really won't be good so let's see let's bring this in bring it up but I, I really don't think I'm ever gonna run into a situation where I'll end up running out of fuel with this but uh, I, I'm probably gonna end up having to like eat my own words or whatever you want to say because probably a good chance I'm it's gonna happen probably with my luck Definitely. So we should start slowing down now, considering we're moving way, way too fast for any kind of landing. You would become just a smudge on the surface of Minmus, which wouldn't be very good. So that, that, that really wouldn't be that great, to be honest. So let's get down here. Now, the one thing I will mention is I am looking at the map. They have a map of, like, basically all the biomes on Minmus. I'm not just, like, discovering these randomly, but, I mean, honestly, when it comes down to it, when you really look at all the biomes, I mean, you could pretty much just take a guess on where some of them are, you know, the, this one might be one, this might be one, this might be a separate one over here, you know, and this might be one, or this right here might be some kind of a separate biome. We need to slow down here. I, I'm talking just a little bit too much here. Get down to 20, and we'll call it a day. And let's see. Yeah, I don't want to slow down too much, because landings, I know, are pretty boring. They take up way too much time. But, once again, don't want to become a smudge on the surface. That wouldn't be nice. We'll turn these lights off, too. We don't need them. We are landing on a light side for the first time, at least. No, this exploration mission is pretty awesome considering the fact that, you know, I really don't have to bring a ton of fuel with me. Minmus is 
not very demanding when it comes to fuel and all that stuff. When it comes down to landing, orbiting, everything else. Whoa, there we go. It's not very demanding when it comes down to landing, when it comes down to doing orbital maneuvers, and just pretty much everything. So it, it always just is very easy going as far as all of that stuff, which is amazing. So let's see here. I think we ended up using this before over here. So we are going to keep this data. And what else do we got? Oh, yeah, we got the mystery goo. What do we see? Yeah, I think we have landed over here before. I'm not 100% certain. We did land a probe on the surface. I just can't remember where it is that we actually landed. So we'll take a crew report. We did not actually land Kerbals on the surface of Minmus. So we'll do an EVA and we'll get an EVA report. We'll keep this and you let go. So th I believe this area is called the Lesser Flats. I'm not 100% certain, but let's see. We'll take a surface sample. Yes, yeah, Lesser Flats. So we'll keep this as well. Is there anything else we can do? We'll put the flag down. I think I'm going to put flags down pretty much wherever I land just to kind of mark that area that as, okay, well, I landed in the Lesser Flats or what have you. So... Uh, landing one, I guess. Let's, uh, I'll just do it number one. That that works out better. Let's flat is number one. Yeah. Read plaque. Oh my god. That that's awesome. I, I see. There's certain stuff in this game I just don't remember or I don't realize. Like I think I remember seeing that before, but I I, I just don't even remember ever actually writing anything. I I. I at least as far as I remember. I don't use that too often, so... Usually I'm not planting flags. But anyways, let's get back up to the station, start processing this data, and let's see what we can unlock later on. So I'll see you once we get closer to the station. And I think our mission's completed, guys. All we gotta do is make sure we dock, and that's done. Yeah, perfect. Mission completed. That was pretty awesome, though. I do have to admit that this is getting to be pretty freaking awesome, considering the fact that we can now just basically collect as much data as we want, and we don't have to worry about basically anything. And I, I really do think that this is going to work out a lot better and if this works out pretty well um, maybe in the future I'll probably make a bigger station uh, and probably incorporate even more stuff so what we need to do is we need to keep this data and we're basically going to have to see what we can analyze and what we can't analyze Wait, is this the one that we used on the surface? No. Yeah, yeah, we'll reset this one. This is the one we used on the surface. So we'll review the data, run it through the lab. And this one goes pretty quickly, too. I, I that, that goes really, really quickly. So I don't think there's any other stuff. I don't think I took a 
temperature reading or did I? I don't really remember these kinds of things. So we'll keep this data. Oh yeah, we did. Um, yeah, we'll process this data as well. And then we're going to transmit it all via our comm satellite dish here. And hopefully we'll get a little bit more data this time than we did last time. At least uh, science value, I should say. We'll keep this and review the stored data. Yeah, we will process the surface sample. And we will keep this. So that that works out very well so what is it uh, review report okay I can't do anything with this so we'll keep this as well and we're just gonna wait for this to be done processing which will only take a minute here and then this is a new thing that I figured out is that you can actually transmit the data why, um, by clicking on the satellite dish here because the main problem is is that with the station because I put the small one on here too it wants to, it, it automatically goes with the small one there should be a way where you can set it to where it will only use one specific one and you can like disable one or you know whatever and, and it will just basically just only use that one specific module because it, it was just kind of causing a lot of problems and uh, I ended up losing a few experiments that way our last mission actually I, I lost just a couple things it wasn't that serious but still it's lost data and it kind of sucks so even with this one we're losing a little bit of data and I don't know if I'm gonna retrofit it if we get our bigger satellite dish here but anyways I'll see you once we get to the science building yeah, so the last episode, we left off on, was it 23 science? We have 479 now, just from that one mission, so definitely, definitely lost out last mission on a few spots where we could have got some better data. Even Dalgay agrees, and you can even see, even from this one, I think this was our first, yeah, this was our first scan and with this one, we actually got 10% or, well, 10 more science just from analyzing the data and all that other stuff. But eh, it's not that big of a deal. So we got lesser flats, the flats, and poles. So we're definitely going to have to head back to the flats probably next episode. We'll get a little bit more data, but let's see what we can unlock because unlocking stuff is pretty much the best part. Um, so let's see here. I don't know what happened, but apparently some of this stuff did not get, in fact, unlocked. Or otherwise, no, no, what, what it was is, um, I think after I quick saved, I, I lost all this stuff. So I'll just go back and unlock what it is that we got last time. So actually, we only got about 200 science, so I, I, I'm an idiot. We'll put it that way. I'm an idiot. We only got about 200 science on this mission, so I, I don't know why it went up to 400, but all the stuff we lost it because I did not, in fact, quick save at that time. So, let's see. Should I unlock this? I don't really think so. We got 229. I really think we should unlock some more sciencey stuff. That way we can start doing more and more. So, what will this get us afterwards? Um, really not much. That, that, that's not that bad, though. But we can get the external command seat. We'll start getting some wheels, and we could probably build a rover, which would be pretty awesome. So this will give us stuff that we don't really care about so much, at least for right now. I'm going to start unlocking this plane stuff slowly but surely, because I know that some of these things that we can use on our rockets and so I'll, I'll figure it out as time goes on but anyways guys if you like what you see here subscribe there's always more to come to all you new people welcome and uh yeah i will see you next time